Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So, Scorpio, this reading will be for you if you have any Scorpio placements or if you're dealing with Scorpio. Please hit the messages that resonate and leave the rest. If something doesn't resonate, it's very likely it's for somebody else. Okay, guys, as these are general messages, I'm picking up on many different energies. Um, yeah, Scorpios. Transition. You guys are going through a transition right now, okay? This could be in regards to work. It could be in regards to something spiritually, okay? It could be your love life. Let's see what transition is. Scorpio currently going through at the moment. I'm hearing something about values as well. The devil, the chariot, the king of pentacles. There's something that you're leaving behind, Scorpio. Some some kind of toxic trait or it could be a way of thinking. Okay, it could be a person, it could be a Capricorn could be a cancer but i see you uh focused on your money focused on that uh focused on your um can be career could be a career change for you guys i see you determined when i see the chariot when i get a certain type of energy and the chariot comes out it's like this is what i'm doing i've made up my mind i'm not looking back and this is what it is okay i love that very determined energy coming out for you um Scorpio, about to say Sagittarius, some of you guys could be on the cusp. Okay. So I see the Nine of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. So I'm, this is this is you trying to figure things out, trying to balance things out, okay? Juggling things, see what works. Throwing things at the wall, see what sticks, okay? See what works for you. Um, I feel like the Nine of Swords in this is actually not too much of a bad thing. I because Scorpio, you guys are going deep, you're thinking about what's going to benefit you, how things could um, really come to fruition, okay? Because let me tell you why that, let me tell you why I got to that, yeah? Because we have the Empress as well, okay? Growth and expansion. So it's like, say for example, you're starting a business, okay? Or you're starting a new job and it's like, I want to bring the best version of me forward, okay? To get the best outcome, okay? And, and this is just, this... This nine of swords, I don't even feel like it's too much of a of a um, bad thing. I feel like it's you actually just it's because you want this. It's because you this is something that you desire, okay. And anything that you start that you desire, there's going to be this nervousness that like you know, how can I be the best version of myself, okay? So um, the two of pentacles there, there's something about um, juggling things out, okay. I'm getting more so your time. Maybe it could be your finances also, okay. Say like you you have a nine to five job and you there's something that you're passionate passionate about that you want to pursue something something like a hobby or something and you're like okay let me take this money from whatever you know let me put this money aside and invest it in that okay but it's gonna work because you is the empress energy that comes out after that so it's not for nothing. All right, tell me more about, uh, I want to say Pisces. Some of you guys have Pisces in your chart. Ace of Cups. The Empress and the Ace of Cups. For some of you guys, you may find out about a pregnancy. It doesn't have to be your own. It could be yours or it could be yours, a, si a sibling, a, 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 one of your children, okay? Um, but I'm also seeing, because the Empress and the Ace of Cups, like the Ace of Cups is actually give it, is like water's breaking as well, especially after the Empress, yeah? So... There's, there's this idea and it's just, it's coming, it's coming, okay? <laughs> there's no stopping it, it's coming. I like this, it's, ve it's a very, um, um, it's very optimistic, it's very determined, I love this energy, I'm all for it. All right, what else can you tell me about Scorpio, please? We have the High Priestess, okay, that's why I was saying Pisces, Pis I was feeling that energy. So this is, you trust following your intuition, okay? Maybe where you've ignored it before. Maybe there was a person in your life before that kind of made you look at things a different way, that blocked your blessings. Maybe it was your own thoughts. Maybe it was things that you were doing in the past that blocked your own blessings, but I don't see that anymore, okay? You're really listening to your gut now, okay? That feeling that you're getting, that little voice that you're hearing, you're trusting it now. There's no, you're no longer ignoring it. We have the sun. This is bringing you joy, this is beautiful. I am this 444 when I looked up. Beautiful. Seven of Wands. No one can block your blessings. You are you could be blocking out people from your life as well. This feels like a very solo journey. This feels like a um 
Some of you guys could be lone wolves, okay? You could be very much to yourselves. That would make sense because a lot of Scorpios can be like that, okay? Not saying that Scorpios don't have friends, but, um, you know, there's this, there's this um, thing with Scorpios where they do tend to um, go within. And they're very much like uh, Virgo energy as well. Hermit, they can go hermit on you as well. So, okay, a couple cards have come out there. Let's see. We've got the Knight, Knight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor and the page of cups opportunities opportunities so you're speaking to people or people are speaking to you okay there's a job offer here or just more money um some kind of um it could be like a promotion or if you are self-employed it could be just more clientele okay more subscribers more followers okay more interest in what you're doing okay this could be people around you or just people, like, even if they're not around you, it could be online showing you interest um, about whatever it is that you're creating, okay? We have the Emperor and the Page of Cups. This is you taking control and this is also you speaking about the things that you want, okay? So this is you speaking from your heart. Your heart chakra is unblocked. Justice, okay? This is your Justice, um, Scorpio. It's probably one of the best readings that I've done for you probably one of the best readings that i've done for you so i felt that before i started pulling the cards there's some kind of transition going on with you guys and i feel like you guys are really running with it and i love that okay there's i mean it's a win-win situation there's a win-win situation tell me more please about scorpio nine of cups that's you happy content in your life right now That is you, the justice and the nine of cups. That is you happy. It's like, finally, I can feel this way. Finally, I'm free of something. Finally, I'm finding something. Finally, I'm at that place where I want to, um, um, I want to chase my dreams, chase that goal that I had. Okay, thank you. There we go. Look, the two of wands here. There's quite a few cards come out. Let me grab these. So you've got the two of wands. This is you. This is you, this is a new path that you've chosen, okay, Scorpio? The hanged man, you're looking at things differently now, your mindset's changed, okay? I'm not sure what's happened for you guys in the past, but regardless of what's happened, I'm liking what the future's looking like, okay? You have the Ace of Swords, this is you speaking your truth, this is you being real with yourself, real with others, okay? This is clarity about a lot of things, okay? Maybe because you are looking at things in a different way, that's why I think a lot of things are make are very clear, very clear. A lot of things are making sense, regardless if it makes sense to other people or not, it makes sense to you, Scorpio, yeah? We have the Eight of Cups there. There's something that you've walked away and I feel like it's that way of thinking, or it could be a, a person that was around you as well. I feel like this feels like it's got a lot to do with you. I'm not getting too much energy. Other. I know when there's um, other people's energy in a reading and this feels like you. It's, this is all you, Scorpio, okay? We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands and we have the Eight of Pentacles. Now, um, so I'm seeing you... Um, that's why that two of pentacles come out. This is you juggling your time and energy, okay? Some of you guys may feel like it's, at times, it's too much. So you know, Scorpio, take a break, do whatever you need to do, have fun, listen to your music, eat good food, okay? See loved ones, break it up a little bit if this is um, ever getting too much for you, okay? No matter how much you love something, because me, I love tarot. I love, I love what I do. Okay, and even so, there's times where I need days off because I can't be the best version of myself if I do this consistently, okay? And I don't allow myself a break, okay? Even just then, Scorpio, I was blaring my music. I was listening to some old school music, Heat Wave, Always Forever, Always and Forever. I was listening to some, um, what's his face? I forgot his name. Um, will we talk, uh, Tevin Campbell. Listen, I was just enjoying myself, getting myself. So remember to incorporate those things that you love and you enjoy around this as well. It'll make it so much easier for you, okay? I do see you studying a lot and this is brilliant. Very studious energy. There we go again with the um, Virgo energy. Some of you guys do have Virgo in your chart, yeah? That hermit energy. I'm going to keep to myself. I'm going to put my head down and figure out um, the best way to navigate, um, navigate around my goals, what I want to do and how I could um, do other things that I love too. Okay, beautiful. 
So we have the Hierophant. Look, the Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Hey, you, I. So, Scorpio, let me tell you what's happening. You're going from a student to a teacher. And you cannot be a teacher if you have not learnt. Okay? You cannot. You go from a, from a student to a teacher. Okay? And this per so that's what that's where you're keeping to yourself right now. You're getting a lot of things done. A lot of things done. So nice, guys. So beautiful. I love this. The strength. This is the courage. This is courage. So of you guys, it may have may be, may be been a confidence thing, or maybe it wasn't even something that you even um thought about in the past. Whatever this is, I'd love to know what you're doing. Whatever it is, I love the energy. I love this determination and it looks like success, win-win, okay? All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, subscribe. If you'd like a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. Have an amazing weekend and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye, guys.